Hello everyone, this is Doc Aaron, and welcome back to another video on the Hermitcraft server. This is episode... Seriously? I completely forgot what episode it is, give me a sec. Apparently it's episode 16! Wow! It's been 17 episodes, including episode 0, since we started season 2. Wow, feels like yesterday. Anyway, here I am on something that's actually taken me quite a while to create here on the Hermitcraft server. It's going to, and I'm not even quite finished with it. It is good. Okay, good. The lava's cleared out. It's going to be my demise bunker. I love this design with the sea lanterns in the main room and all. I just love it. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I mean, I'm not much of a builder myself, but seriously, I, lo I love the way I've done this. Kind of blowing my own trumpet here. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, I got this comment from Denton. Hey, I know I said that. I know that I still resent you for beating me in the Hermitcraft Civil War, but when you rebuild your base, which I am planning on doing, can you ba make a base that is a mix of Mumbo Jumbo's Grace and Green's? That would be awesome. Now, originally, I wasn't going to do this because I get enough comments already saying that I copy Mumbo Jumbo. Uh, which, to be completely clear, I'm not. But, I do think that I will, uh take on the challenge and whoa I guess oh, what happened look at my skin it turned blue because of the sea lanterns okay looks like we're gonna be going over to poor Doc's base and trapping it he won't have any idea whatsoever he has only gotten a little bit far into- Oh yeah, that's the exit, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> he's, he's only gotten a little bit far into creating his base. So, let's get straight on to that. But, I certainly didn't have time for that, so I killed myself. Hooray for the rain! Ugh. The spot- I, I love how Doc decided to uh, design the base. I think he did a pretty good job on that. Um, their base, they didn't have as many active players, so they were at a small disadvantage. But anyway, Doc's base is somewhere around here. Aha. <laughs> Looks like we've got a little bit of a storage system going on. He hasn't finished, obviously. Um, he's got... Look, he's working on the wood section first. Why is he doing that? Um, Okie dokie. We've got a little bit of a water stream, which if we go all the way down to the bottom, you will see that the middle section is soul sand and the other sections are um, magma. Anyway, we've got two levels in his base. I don't know what these levels are going to be. It's to me, it looks like a mix of Grian and Mumbo Jumbo. See, we've got the thing in the middle. It's kind of blocky, like Grian's. It doesn't have quite the same tower shape, though. So maybe if you see me watching this dock, then I definitely suggest you doing that. I love how I'm just. <laughs> This is kind of difficult being a superhero. You have to refer to yourself as third person every time, no matter who it is you're talking about. And if you are talking about your uh, alter ego in third person, it just feels weird. And what's more, it looks like the entire floor is just made out of... It's just made out of sea lanterns. Those are expensive. How has he managed to afford that? Probably because of the money that he got from the fish slash brick shop. He's still stocking that somehow. So I took some puffer fish out of my puffer fish shulker box. Let's quickly put that back in my ender chest. Um, so we have two buckets of puffer fish that I will put in this water stream that will hopefully poison him and kill him. But first we have to make sure that they can't escape. And that means going around the edges of the area over here and filling it up with um, glass. So that's what I'm going to be doing for a little while. Anyway, I added in the glass. It took a lot more than I thought it would. So now I'm just left with three. I'd, I had like two, maybe three stacks. And I also added in the puffer fish. This theoretically could be deadly, but he might also just be able to kill them without a thought. So who knows? 
what's over here? Okay, so we've got the sorting system. Oh, okay. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> oh, okay. The Do they just get hurt by the puffer fish? I love Riptide so much. Okay. Although seriously, Riptide is one of the best enchantments in the game. Also, when you're on an elytra, it's ridiculously overpowered. Let's see if I can get these guys while flying. Oh, that would be epic. Where are the, where are the others? Did they just... I think I just caused them to despawn. <laughs> they despawned while not having to... Oh, okay, I need to be more careful there. Seriously, they literally just despawned. On the bright side, I don't have to deal with the stupid bad omen. Okay, so we've got redstone components, an anvil for renaming dirt blocks to subscribe, apparently. Oh, well. <laughs> well, let's get out of here and maybe trap the new de demise bunker that has uh, been built. I don't think it's been officially built yet. It hasn't. It's not finished, so I'm just going to leave it be. Anyway, now that my face is back, we can put the iron helmet on. Uh, we look so much better when when we're poultry man. We look so much better without the helmet, but Doc really looks good with the helmet. Anyway, uh, you might be wondering how you get in here. So basically, you just go down these steps, and yeah, you just not the best door I've created. But here's the thing. Everyone is going to be going down this entrance, whereas if I trigger a little button somewhere, I'm not going to tell you where quite yet, all of those dispensers in the top that you probably noticed earlier will pour down lava. So this entrance will be in a, will not be here. You will not be able to get in through here. And you guys have already seen the exit. You just click this button. I, that was a bad idea. You're, really, you're supposed to click the button twice, but uh, we've got to deal with stupid drowns. Oh, trident. Not bad. Anyway, and the entrance, for when this entrance is blocked off, which most of the time it is going to be, is right over here. Thank goodness for being able to put redstone underwater nowadays. And now we end up in this little area right here. In case you're wondering how this water is not flowing it everywhere, I've got item frames right here, but I'm using Optifine so the item frames are invisible, which I quite like. I mean, just look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> anyway, so the way that you get in to the, uh, the way that you trigger the lava, which you saw earlier, was... Well, you saw the chamber, but basically you drop an item on the floor right here. We have this flush piston door, which lets us drop through. And yep, we've got a piston right there. And holy crap, we need to light this place up. Thank goodness I bought some torches. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Anyway, um, let's light this whole place. Holy crap, my redstone line. <laughs> Wow! I never seem to light up my builds. This place is... Forget the demise that are going to try and trap me. My this my bad lighting skills are going to kill me on their own. <laughs> anyway, so this is the little room I have down here. This is going to be my AFK chamber. And I actually found a new trick earlier. If you shift and then open a chest, you stay shifting which is really cool, so they won't know I'm here. And then I'll turn on something like a cam- I'll set up some form of camera up there so that when- oh, and log in with my second account or something along those lines, I will be able to see whoever comes in there and then I'll just log out to my, to my account and then I will press buttons and this one- I love this one. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm really getting ahead of myself here. Before we press that button, you use the scaffolding up here to take the item out of this hopper, which will cause this to extend, so it's completely flush with the floor. Anyway, so now we can go over here, press this button. If I go up quickly, you will be able to tell if I just quickly... 
Yep, we've got a lot of lava falling. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of lava. Okay, that's a ton of lava. I should probably not be here. <laughs> if I were to get stuck over here, then I, the, I would just lose demise, and then this whole thing would be for nothing. Apart from making a pretty cool build. Um, let's see. Okay, as you can see, the lava has already hit the ground. The reason we have the trap doors here is so that we can we have functional door, but the lava can't go in. If we had a piston door right here, then the lava would just spill in whenever the piston door was open. We wouldn't be able to see what was going on, so that's why I built this. It's useless. It is like 100% useless. Okay. I can trigger most of these with just one. Why am I why do I even have these here? And if you wanted to put this back, then you just drop an item on the floor. Go back into the room. If I can fall. And then press the button again. However, it takes absolutely ages to um takes absolutely ages to get for the lava to uh fall down all the way. So that's pretty much the device bunker so far. Whew. How many times am I going to have to say that I love this design? Anyway, if we just quickly go down here, we can see that, yeah, the lava is still falling. <laughs> uh, so I, it took me a lot of time to be able to craft up all those dispensers, but it was totally worth it. Okie dokie, then. So anyway, that's how you get in the Demise Bunker and all of that. Anyway, uh, let's go over back to my in-progress bit. After a lot of AFKing at the Witch Farm and building redstone contraptions later. Okay, so I've got all of the hoppers in place and I've placed, um, at the very least, the block that corresponds to the top inside of it. it but the, the problem is, is I believe... Yeah, the ones from here on out need subscri the subscribe blocks, so, which is okay, I guess, but apart from the fact that my level is officially going to go through the floor. Um. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hassan Gundur Gaming demised a little ago by Poultry Man's hand. Because. I might. Oh no, he's gonna be rejoining the server any second now. I'm in the demise bunker, but he knows where it is. That's not good. That's really not good. Why am I moving higher? Okay. Okay, even if he... I'm gonna activate the trap as soon as he gets in here. The likelihood he'll be able to find where I am and trap me before I, uh... Oh! He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. Okay. Um, I need to get down. I need to get down. Okay. He's here. He's here. Am I recording? I am recording. Oh, no. Ha! Ha ha! That wasn't even my trap and he already got killed. That's hilarious. Okay. He's back. He's back. Okay. We'll do the trick. Press it, we're pressing the button. Uh, I really hope that I can get this footage. Okay. Okay, he's in. Somehow, he managed to get in. The likelihood- oh no! Please tell me I didn't. Stupid shifting. This is why I absolutely... Okay. Okay. I'm gonna... So he's trying the exit. Okay, I need to arrange my inventory a bit. Okay, he's dying. He's in the lava. Okay, he died. Okay, Doki. Oh, dear. 
he probably lost his items. Why am I so bad at typing sometimes? The thing is, is you are literally right next to the exit. <laughs> Oopsie. Yep. You should have known about that. And besides, oh no, oh no. Yep, I'm dead. I am so totally dead. Okay. I have no idea why that's there. Anyway, it's a very good thing that he. Oh well, never mind. Um, should probably get back down to stairs. Okay, I got it wrong. No, I didn't. Okay, now let's go quickly grab the item before he knows that I'm here again. And then I'm just gonna go AFK all night, and I'll put up my, uh, the camera, and then if I... I just thought of something. I mean, no, I'll only be invisible for a couple more minutes. Anyway, if you like the video, please sure like, like, if you really enjoyed it, please be sure to subscribe. This has been Doc Aaron, and I'm out. See you all later.